guys, welcome to Champanzy Percussion. If you're new to this channel, welcome! And we're so excited to have you join us. Today, we're going to be learning how to set up our percussion kit. Now, there is a few things that we're going to need when setting up a percussion kit. The main thing is your actual percussion kit. Now, there's a few different brands that you can check out like Pearl, Yamaha, Ludwig. The list goes on and on, but I will say any percussion kit that you get will get the job done. Now, the percussion kit will look something like this. It will be in a bag with a few handles and a zipper and there's going to be a few things that we're going to get to in a little bit. The next thing that we're going to need is a pair of drumsticks. The pair of drumsticks that I recommend are called the PCS1. And now these drumsticks come with something called the Fulcrum Finder. Those are the drumsticks that I'm going to really recommend that you get, especially since you all are brand new at playing your instrument. Now the last thing that you're going to need when playing your percussion kit is a music stand to hold all your music. Now there's a few different music stands that you can purchase and some of them are really really expensive and some of them are pretty cheap. I'm going to say just get whatever fits into your budget. Now I use a music stand that looks exactly like this. It's a little fancy but you don't need anything like this. Now some of your percussion kits might come with a stand that you can use. You can use that but it's not always going to work out whenever you're using your pad. All right, well now let's stop talking and let's get to setting up our instrument. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is lay your instrument flat on the floor. Most of you guys are gonna see a logo on the top part or even some wheels at the bottom part. Now, if you have the wheels and the straps facing the floor, that is perfect. You wanna make sure that those are at the bottom because if not, you're gonna have your instrument upside down. Okay, so now let's take a look at our instrument. We're gonna notice that we have some zippers right at the front. Maybe they might be on the side or something. Just make sure that they're facing you right here in the middle. So the first thing that I'm gonna want you to do is unzip it without opening up the flap. So just unzip it all the way around, just like this. All right, so you didn't open your instrument just yet, so just keep it right there. Now I want you to watch carefully. Now before you open up your instrument, I'm gonna need you to watch what I do. You're gonna grab the top part, you're gonna open it up and then close it. But as you open it up, I need you to do one thing. I need you to make this sound just like me. I'm gonna go like this. And then after that, I need you to close it. All right, you ready? Let's try that together. One, two, three, open up the flap. Yes, that is your percussion kit. Now I know what you're thinking, that is funny. You're being really, really silly. Yes, you know, it's your instrument and you should be excited about playing your instrument. All right, let's get to the next thing. Now you might notice that you have a few wrappers here and there. If your percussion kit is brand new, go ahead and take all of those wrappers off and then just leave your instrument right there exactly where you found everything. Okay, so you're gonna look around and you're gonna notice that you're gonna see some metal parts, maybe uh, a little metal stand with some rubbers. That is the first thing you're gonna grab. Now this part right here is called your base because that's the foundation of your stand. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is loosen up this screw right here. It's the one that is at the lowest of your stand. So just go ahead and loosen it up just a little bit, not too much. If not, it's gonna fall down. So once you do that, go ahead and spread the legs of the stand and place that stand right in front of you. What I like to do is I like to have the screws facing me. So I'm just gonna open it up at a pretty decent size and then screw that screw back up. Okay, now the base is set up. If it looks exactly like my stand, then you've got it set up perfectly. So now, if you have already noticed, you might have seen that there's another metal part right inside the same pocket. So we're gonna go and dig in there, and we're gonna grab a part that might look something like this. Now, if your part looks a little bit different, that's okay, we're gonna still use the same thing. But what I like to call this is your Thor hammer, because in fact, it looks pretty, it's pretty big, you know? You're grabbing it from the bottom and it almost looks like a hammer, so I call this your Thor hammer. The proper name is the head of the stand or the top of the stand, but I like to call it my Thor hammer. So let's go ahead and grab the Thor hammer and just slide it all the way down inside your stand. 
Now, if this is not going down all the way through, then that means that you have this little screw right here in the middle a little too tight. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you unloosen it a little bit so that that way you can slide the stand all the way down. All right, so now that you have that set up just like this, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just tighten up that same screw we just loosened up. So that might take a few seconds. Now if the screw falls off, then you're just gonna wanna pick it up and put it back in there. Now this little trick that I like to use is righty tighty, lefty loosey, in case you don't know how to tighten up your screws. Again, righty tighty, so towards your right or the right side of your hand, and then lefty loosey to loosen up that screw. Okay, so now we got our stand set up. We got one more thing that we're gonna grab before we get to the last part of this video. So the first instrument that we're gonna pick up is gonna be our pad. Now, if you look at your bag, you're gonna see a little round pocket up here against the flap that we opened up. So you're gonna wanna pick up this flap right here and go in and dig in there and you're gonna see a practice pad that looks like this. If you look at the bottom of the practice pad, you'll notice that there's a little hole at the bottom, right at the dead center. So what you wanna do is get that part and place it on top of the stand where there's a screw. All you're gonna wanna do is slowly twist this around and around and around until it lightly tightens, okay? And then once it tightens, it will stop moving. Now you wanna make sure that you don't over tighten it. You wanna just make sure that you go all the way till it stops and then maybe tighten it up just a little bit. If you overdo it, you might end up messing up your pad and you might not be able to take it off. You wanna make sure that it's not over tightened. Okay, so now let's get to the next part. Let's go ahead and stand up. All right, so now the next thing that we have to do is adjust the drum to our height. So as you notice, this pad is a little bit low for me. My hands almost extend all the way down. And so what you want to do is you want to adjust your pad about where your waist and your belly button is at. Now this isn't the perfect place to place your instrument at, but this is a reference point that might help you identify where you're going to start off. You want to pick the pad up to where your waist and your belly button is at. So now let's try to adjust that. We're going to loosen up that middle screw just a little bit. After that, you're going to want to lift it up, check where your waist is at, maybe put it around there, and then tighten up that middle screw. Okay, so now the next thing that you're going to want to do is you want to place your hands on top of the pad. Now, if the instrument is at the right height for you, your hands will be at a 45 degree angle. This is gonna be your 180 degrees. This is gonna be your 90 degrees. And so you wanna find something right in between those two. So see where I came down? That's about 45 right there, nice and relaxed. My hands are coming down. So in fact, for me, my waist is a perfect place to place my practice pad. Now, if you're a lot shorter than I am, one of the things that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna bring down your pad all the way down and then you see these hands right here, these little arms, you're gonna wanna open up those arms and your pad is actually gonna come down a lot lower. Now, let's say that if I was actually this height, then I might have to be playing my instrument right here. But since I'm a lot taller, I'm gonna close that section up, lift it up to where my waist is at, and then tighten it up just like that. And again, you're gonna be at about 45, maybe a little bit higher than your 45 degree angle. Awesome, so now you know how to set up your practice pad. Now we're gonna get into setting up our bell kit. Now our bell kit is at the bottom latch of where your percussion kit is at. So the first thing that you're gonna do is just loosen up that pad. Turn it all the way around. And then once it's loose, you're gonna be able to lift the pad off of that screw. Just like that. Now place it exactly where you got it from, that same little pocket. Now before I grab my bell kit, the next thing that I'm gonna wanna do is open up these hands. So you're gonna wanna spread the hands out all the way. And then as soon as they stop coming up, you're gonna wanna tighten up the highest screw that you have. And then you're gonna notice that you're gonna have four black rubbers all the way around. 
Now, unfortunately, I am missing one because I lost that, but if you have all four of them, then perfect. Also, as you look down at it, you're gonna notice that the two sides of your stand are gonna be a lot bigger than the other two. You wanna make sure that the bigger section is on the left side and the smaller section is on your right side. Once that top screw is tightened and the hands of the stand are all the way up, the next thing you're going to want to do is grab your bell kit. As you grab your bell kit, you'll notice that there's one side that is smaller and one side that is bigger. You're going to want to put the left side that is bigger on your left side and the right side that is smaller on the right side. Now most of you guys do have this little hole right here. You're going to want to place that hole inside where that screw is at. So you're going to have to just find where it lines up and you might be able to actually see where that hole is at if you look behind the keys, which are these notes. So once you have it there, you can move it around just a little bit and make sure that it locks in place. Once you do that, that is perfectly set up. Awesome, so now you know how to set up both your belt kit and your pad. Now the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to tear down our instrument. So the first thing that we're gonna do is grab our bell kit and we're gonna go ahead and put that back in our bag. Now as you're putting your bell kit away, you wanna make sure that the small side of the bell kit lines up with the small side of the bag and the big side of the bell kit lines up with the bigger side of the bag. All right, now that we already did that, the next thing that we're gonna do is loosen up that top screw and close the hands of the stand to where they come all the way down. You should have tightened up that top screw as well once you closed it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up that middle screw that we have, the middle screw of your stand, and you're gonna, after you loosen it up, lift your Thor hammer, and your Thor hammer is going to go in first. The bigger side goes in first to the little pocket that you had in your kit. The last thing that you're going to want to do is pick up your stand. You're going to want to unscrew the bottom screw and then lift the legs of your stand up. If you do this, it should automatically go up and close. After you do that, just tighten up that screw and the legs won't open up. Now you're gonna do the opposite from what you just did with the Thor hammer. You're gonna put in the small side first and the legs are gonna be coming out. So let's go ahead and put that away. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is close the flap and then Bring the zippers all the way to the front to where you first had them, up in the front. And that is how you set up and tear down your beginner percussion kit. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. Now, if you still have any other questions on how to play your instrument, please comment below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to keep up to date on any new videos I will be posting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to have fun.